Well, with uh, baby number three officially on the way, in this three bedroom house, we've got to have a room for just the baby. That has us putting the two older boys together. There are not toddler bunk beds pre-made anywhere that you can buy. I found plans and didn't really like any of the ones I saw. I didn't want to pay for plans and end up not using them. So I had a few days off of work and I took the time and drew up my own plans. And this is what we made. We had thought about going with full-size bunk beds, but with the boys being young, we didn't want them falling from the top bunk. Also, this is a small room, and it does have its own bathroom, so that's it's better to put the boys up here. Uh, but to keep from wasting too much space, I think that utilizing the toddler bed mattresses and making this smaller bunk bed was the way to go. I'm going to include a couple of screenshots of the plans, a material list, and a few pointers. If you guys are trying to build these and have any questions, hit me up in the comment section and I'll do my best to help you through, uh, offer any insight I got while making these myself. And uh, if you like it, please give me a subscribe. Thanks from Lazy Pond Farm. So to make sure that I didn't mess anything up, I went ahead and modeled this in AutoCAD. If any of you have uh, access to AutoCAD or something that can open drawing files, I'll happily send this to you. But uh, So I'm going to give you a, kind of a little tour of the bunk bed. And as I'm going around it, if you need to see any detail anywhere, try and understand something better, you can just pause the video. The great thing about my design is that it's made entirely of 2 by 4s You've got several different lengths, and once you cut all your pieces at those lengths, you can just assemble it. What I I did since this bed won't fit through the doorway is I took and I built each end piece this side and this side here carried them into the bedroom and then just assembled the sides and the slats for the top mattress made it pretty easy I used two and a half inch screws but anywhere that I had to go through the full length of a 2x4 to get in to the end of the board, I used these 4-inch screws. I countersunk my holes with a drill bit just a little smaller than the size of the screw head. That, they, that way they'd kind of pull in there nice and tight. Obviously going to need a tape measure, square to get everything nice and square. And then those screws take the T25 bit. Just wanted to review the location of these pieces here. The 55 inch ones are the four on the right and left side. The 48 inch ones are your corners right here, the uprights in the corners and the other piece to the ladder here. The 28 inch ones are your slats that hold your mattress up for your top mattress here. The 21 inch pieces go on the back side. The 12 inch pieces are for your ladder. And the five and a half inch pieces are these little short ones here. What are you guys doing? Uh, yeah. What are you playing on? 
What is it? A pirate ship. A pirate ship. No, is it a bunk bed? 